Hi guys, finally my plugin on Canva finally got released. Now everyone can go to Canva apps to search Simple QR code and if you get the plugin you can just install and use it directly. It's very easy to use. For example, I just tap my personal website here and create the QR code. It will automatically uh, install your camera page, which is very simple, easy, and straightforward. However, um, Canva also sent me another request for the change. They asked me to some uh, even after they proved the release, they still give me some feedback based on the icon and the feature image. So they asked me to change the icon size and also the header image. Um, that's something they want me to change. So let's move to the application submit. So let's create a new new version, which is to make the change for the icon, to make the change for the feature image. So for um, an app release on Canva is everything is done on this Canva app website. So let's go through this as well. I think I haven't I haven't gone through this. I haven't gone through this for for you guys yet. So you choose your source of the app, which is a built version from your your app, which is the GS file. And after that, you, you can go next step, which is authentication. This app doesn't really require any authentication, so uh, just leave this as empty. So part they reject me for my um for my uh, last summit about my icon and feature images because. I did something silly, which is the require of the iPod of uh, the app icon is 512 pixel. But actually, what I did, I uploaded a 600 pixel something like that image, um, which I believe Canva doesn't put a validation here. This is why even I uploaded this logo, which is about um, 600 pixel, and still succeed. So anyway, let's do this logo first. Let me open my photo editor. I'm using this one GIMP, which is, I believe is a simple, it's a free photo editor software. I guess a lot of people know this. And just let, just let me export and And um, sorry, what I mean is just export a 512 pixel image. Let's change the count size from 690 to 512. Just have to be locked. And I have to lock this before. No, it's too late. Anyway, I'll do this. So now. And be resize to 512. Uh, I can we can tell the the actual image is slightly not center. Let me move it. So I need to be more bit left. Huh. It's better. I'll just use this for now. And let me export this image. Simple QR in logo. Now we have the new image. Let's just drag this image in to upload it. It's uploading. Now it's done. The image uploaded. Fine. This time we have the correct size, which is 512 pixel. 
another thing is the fissure image. The design team from Kama do not really like my fissure image because they think this font is too small for user, especially on mobile device. And probably this one as well. So I have to change it. Luckily, during the feedback, they gave me a template for creating this. So I will try it. I haven't tried this yet actually for the template. But let me see. Uh, oh, not this one. I believe last time they gave me a. Oh, this one. It says template from them. Oh, yes. So that's the template they gave me for using for making the fidget image. Let me rename this. Project. Oh, actually, I forgot how to do. Anyway, it's not important. Let me try to change this to. I'll delete this and I'll put a, a um, QR code here as well, which is I will put one which is my personal website. Drag a bit lower. Make it a little bit smaller and make it in center. Now it's done. Maybe you keep some padding in the bottom as well. So this will be the first, I believe, first fit image I will use. And let's go to my another project. I will name this project as simple QR called Feature template. There's another project which is the old, um, the old, the old feature image project I use. I probably just copy some pages here to the new one. So uh, now, let me open both of the projects. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really help me much. So, anyway, I should copy this. I believe this is the, instead of the, my personal website because I believe this one is It's the uh, app URL instead of my personal website. Actually, it's app source code, I believe. And you will put it here. So this is one feature image. I'll copy another one, which is this one. Let's add some page here. Can I create a new page? Yes. Copy it here. Wait, what happened? Oh, select everything, copy it here. Hmm, interesting. Okay, seems like I have to copy background first and copy the content. I'll copy the background. Paste here. After that, I'll copy the content. Paste it here. Scale it. Make it center. Also, I will just make this sub uh, font bigger. As you know, I'm not a 
the professional designer. So I'm trying to find bigger as well to make the designer her team happy. Let's go 130. Okay. This time I don't believe they can say this phone is small. And the last one is this one. I will first copy the background, create a new image, paste the background, copy all the elements here, and paste it here with all the small font. So now I will leave. Make it center without any small image, a small, small font. Now I believe this should be good enough for the app. Let's export this full image. Mm. PNG from first story. And download. Save my download folder. So now let's go back to the submission page. Let's paste this one. Let's delete this tool. Check this one again. This one again. No. Now they should have the new picture image. And the new icon now. So I can just continue. Which is something for review. Top goes this. I read this many times. Submit that. That's it. That's it. Just waiting for the team to review from Canva again. Hopefully this time they will happy with the feature image. And after that I have a new logo, which is a proper uh, logo for simple QR code, which is will be better than the, the one I used to create it before with many smaller font in it. Anyway, thank you for watching.